Planet Dolan. From being told our penises will fall off to being told creepy things by old people, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the weirdest pieces of advice we've ever received. I'm Danger Dolan, today I'll be on the Rito. Number 10 was submitted by Kiss My Anus. The weirdest pieces of advice Hellbent ever received scared him silly when he was a child. He was about 5 years old and had just discovered the beautiful art of swearing. The day he learned to use swear words, he began throwing insults around like he was Oprah giving away free cars. That was until an old woman who looked like a witch told him that if he cursed too much, his penis would fall off. He didn't know whether she was right or not, but for 6 months, he didn't swear once. Just in case. Number 9 was submitted by k 2011 ux Nixon was told some pretty weird advice from his mother when he was a teenager. They were having breakfast one morning when Nixim's mum decided to dispense some random dating advice. Nixim, she said, if you love someone, like if you really love them, tie them to a bed. If they don't find that shit completely kinky, then dump them and go back to the dating pool. Nixim just continued eating his cereal, unsure of how to respond to his mother's random advice. Number 8 was submitted by Anonymous Cases. When Doopy was a young girl, she was watching TV with her family. There was a news story about kids being abducted in a nearby neighborhood. Her cousin who was at the house decided to give her some advice just in case Doopy ever came into contact with a crazy child abductor. He told her that she should stand up and fight, and that she could make a weapon out of anything, including her own feces. It was some slightly extreme advice. She wondered if she would even have time to take a dump if she was being abducted, maybe she could sh shit her pants and throw her pants at the abductor, but that's a bit, that's a bit odd. Number 7 was submitted by Alipid King. When Pringle was working at a convenience store once, he was standing at the register sneezing and blowing his nose. A nice old woman came in and noticed Pringle had a cold. She told him she knew of an ancient remedy for colds that she swears will fix a cold instantly. He asked her you know, what the remedy was. She told Pringle that when you have a cold, all you have to do is dip your fingers in cough medicine and then insert it into your anus. He thanked the old lady but assured her his immune system would <laughs> probably take care of it without without resorting to the, the anus dipping. Number 6 was submitted by Sophia Cyphers. When Princess Proton was younger, she had a few health issues. Instead of taking her to see a doctor, her mum decided that Proton had really low blood pressure and that she needed to eat 10 bags of potato chips every day. Being a kid, Princess Proton didn't argue. Who doesn't love potato chips? Her mum told her that she needed more salt in her diet and that potato chips were really good for her condition. Now I'm not a doctor, but that seems kind of insane. Number 5 was submitted by Nero Red Wolf. Ghost Toast once received a pretty baffling piece of advice. He was told by his college teacher, you can lead a horse to water, but if you can't teach it the backstroke, you haven't accomplished anything. I mean, that's pretty much nonsense. I've seen horses drink of water, they even paddle in it. But you're setting the bar pretty high if you think you can be the first person in history of the earth to teach a horse to swim on its back. I feel like the moral of the story is aim so high that you will never be able to reach your dreams and live in a constant state of shame and disappointment. Number four was submitted by Def to Tuna. When Sweet Commando first joined the military, he had a drill sergeant who did not mess around. He told his troops this piece of advice. If the thought of doing something makes you giggle for more than three seconds, you should assume you're not allowed to do it. It's no wonder the military people are so disciplined. They only do things that make them giggle for two seconds or less. Number three was submitted by a Pop668. Tollop's uncle was a mysterious man. One day he decided that he needed to share some cryptic advice with Tollop. His uncle sat him down and brought him some whiskey. He told Tollop that once they finished speaking about his advice, they could never speak of it again. Tollop, well, you know, was all ears, desperate to know what words of wisdom his uncle was about to impart. He leaned close to Tollop, stared him in the eyes and said, Earlier than you want to, and more often than you can stand. And then he stood up and left. To this day, Tollop has literally no idea what he was talking about. Number two was submitted by Phantom's Glory 330. When Zaragamba, my brother, was 8 years old, our grandfather took him to McDonald's for a happy meal. It was a nice afternoon, everyone was in a happy, cheerful mood. They were waiting in line to make their order when our grandfather looked down at my brother without any expression on his face and whispered, Don't die. 
then continued to order their food to the counter. My brother stood there and awkwardly smiled back, but in his head he was thinking, what the fuck was that about? Don't die, I'll try fucking not to. Number one was submitted by me. What's the weirdest piece of advice I've ever gotten? Well, this one was pretty fucking weird. Someone I know at school said to me, uh, the best way to prank someone is to wait for them to fall asleep, then reach into your pants, uh, slide your finger into your butthole, uh, grab some of that, you know, feces, and, 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 and rub it under their nose. They'll wake up and they'll smell shit and they, they won't know why or how or where or how to get rid of it. And they laugh and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm actually good. I don't really want to finger my own butthole, but hey, great prank, bro. You should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all about the, 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 the butt reaching. That'll, that'll go down great. Huge thanks to the folks who ever planned on subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's the simplest thing you've ever failed at? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. That's it for this video and have a good one.